Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I want to continue the channel's Back to Basics Fresh Start series, and in this one, I wanted to talk about making coin. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video is because I've seen so many content creators making so many leveling guides lately, which makes sense because a ton of people who join the Fresh Start servers are looking to max their characters ASAP and live the dream of owning territory and being the big dick on the server. However, if you're like me, this is not our dream, but it does present a great opportunity to capitalize on their dreams. In this video, I will share some of the ways I plan to do just that. You see, New World has very little in terms of true endgame content, so rushing to 60 really hasn't got much purpose outside of the group of people who do plan to be hyper-competitive. So my plan is to take it easy while leveling, let the rushers go right ahead and level up as fast as they can, and take those territories, make a ton of coin, and once they do, they will be looking to max their trade skills, so that they can make that juicy best PvP gear, and that's where we will come in. You see, it has been a long time since we have played in an environment like a fresh server. A server that doesn't have hundreds of thousands of over-farmed botted materials at the ready on the market. And the type of players looking to rush don't plan to do the things that we do. They want things fast, and we want all of their coin. So let me show you how to take it. First, I will say right away, you will think farming things like iron ore or fiber will be the best way to make gold early. And of course, you wouldn't really be wrong. However, that's exactly what everyone will think. So competing for the odd iron node that isn't being camped will be a nightmare. No, that's not the key. The things I plan to farm people will need, and you won't have to compete to get them. First, we will be farming crafting regions. Players on Legacy have grown very comfortable with the idea that buying 10k tannin off the market so that they can power level armoring is as easy as a click. But again, on fresh start, this won't be a thing right away. And these players who are racing to be the most powerful will buy all of the crafting regions in huge supply. And early, these will make you a nice amount of coin. And remember, they've changed regions. They no longer have tears, so farming them in Windsward, or First Light, or Monarch's Bluff will provide the same regions as farming them in Broomstone. So, they will sell like hotcakes. So the key here is to be fast and efficient gathering as many as possible, as often as possible. Doing this early instead of focusing on being 60 will make you thousands of coin per hour and start you off rich, making the entire game just feel better. So the first thing you will want to do is go to a website that has a resource map. I have linked my favorite in the description, and load up a route or even make your own by setting the map to show only small supply crates, then run that route. These crates of course respawn every hour, so if you plan it right you can run an endless loop, looting these and loading the marketplace all day. And best of all, no competition. The chest will always be there waiting for you. The next thing we will be doing is farming crops, especially broccoli. Now you will think this is silly, but at this stage in the game, it is like printing coin. One of the most important aspects of PvP is reaching certain thresholds on your character, and one of the most important thresholds is 500 attribute mark, which can only be achieved if you are using attribute food. Now, on a fresh start server, this means that these hardcore companies are going to have characters power leveling cooking, and in order to do that, they are going to need crops, and broccoli is an important one to get them to 200. So first, head to Willits Homestead, and yes, you may have a little competition here, but if you go there while everyone's going crazy leveling, you can easily pick a few thousand broccoli in a couple hours, which will be thousands and thousands of potential coin in this early stage in the game. While there, you can also grab carrots, supply crates, and other great resources. People too often underestimate the potential coin you can produce with crops. Even on Legacy with all the bots, people are making a ton of coin this way. You can make thousands of coin per hour selling broccoli and corn, so imagine the potential this offers early game on a fresh start server with empty market. The side benefit of this will of course be that it will level your harvesting and give you passive character experience. Next, along these same lines, farming blueberries will be also a huge coin maker early game. People need thousands and thousands of these to max cooking, and most won't want to farm these on their own. So that's where we come in, and farm them for them. So head over to Amaran Temple Grounds and just start collecting. This whole area is covered with spawns and you can make crazy coin doing this. The only thing that can limit the amount of coin you can make here is yourself and how long you can stand to do it. While here, you will also encounter nests, which will yield eggs and feathers. These also will be a big coin maker early, so be sure to grab these also when you see them. And next, fishing. I know, no one likes fishing, but this will be maybe the biggest coin maker early game on Fresh Start. Truly here, the sky's the limit. People are going to want musical instruments, and they are going to want them early. This will mean they will need catfish whiskers, snail slime. They of course will also need pearls, but for now those will be out of our range. But the previous two are not. So for catfish, you will want to head to the little lake in Windsward. Here you can catch catfish. Then, once you have them, salvage them, and post the whiskers on the market. And do not post them cheaply. This is your time to take advantage of supply and demand, and make the most potential coin these will ever offer. And for snails, head to First Light, and run between these two hotspots. At these locations, you will catch snails fairly regularly. And once you have them, again salvage them for snail slime. And post that snail slime, but again do not post it cheaply. 
Make as much as possible here while you can. You see, the key to this is not being in a hurry to max level or progress your character. If you think this way, you will end up being in a very strong position early game. Yeah, people will beat you to 60, but who cares, let them. When you get to 60, you will ding at coin cap, putting you in a position then to buy trophies and other things that will greatly improve your play experience as a whole for a long time. The desire to be first at everything comes at a very high cost, and the best way to approach this is to let them be first, and make three times the value on something you will buy later when the supply is much higher, and the price has come way down. Okay guys, I just wanted to share those tips for newer players out there. Coin can be tough at level 60, and you will need tons of it, so setting yourself up early will just make the whole experience feel better. If you guys have any other questions about getting started, please feel free to join my Discord channel and ask, or post them in the comments. I always answer my comments. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the Fresh Start servers.